Imagine navigating social situations with confidence and ease, free from the grip of anxiety. Stoic philosophers like Epictetus, Seneca, and Marcus Aurelius offer timeless strategies to help you overcome social anxiety and find inner calm. By focusing on what you can control, practicing self-acceptance and visualizing success, you can build a strong foundation for confidence. Reframing negative thoughts and seeking meaningful connections further reduce anxiety, allowing you to engage authentically and comfortably, ready to transform your social interactions. Let's dive into these powerful stoic strategies and discover how to overcome social anxiety and embrace a more confident you. Understand the dichotomy of control. We suffer more often in imagination than in reality. Seneca. One of the fundamental principles of stoic philosophy is the dichotomy of control. To overcome social anxiety, it's crucial to distinguish between what is within your control and what is not. Social anxiety often stems from worrying about how others will perceive or judge you, factors that are beyond your control. Start by reflecting on your social interactions and identify the elements that you can directly influence. You can control your own thoughts, actions, and reactions. For instance, you can choose to speak clearly, listen attentively, and maintain a positive attitude. However, you cannot control other people's reactions, opinions, or behaviors. Focus your energy on what you can control. Before a social event, prepare by practicing your conversation skills, dressing appropriately, and setting a positive intention for the interaction. During the event, concentrate on being present and engaged, rather than worrying about others' judgments. By internalizing the dichotomy of control, you can alleviate unnecessary stress and anxiety. When you recognize that others' opinions are outside your control, you can let go of the fear of judgment and focus on your own behavior and mindset. This shift in perspective empowers you to navigate social situations with greater ease and confidence. In your daily life, remind yourself of this principle whenever social anxiety arises. Ask yourself, is this within my control? If the answer is no, practice letting go of the worry and redirect your focus to what you can influence. Over time, this practice will help you develop a more resilient and stoic approach to social interactions. Reframe negative thoughts. The happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your thoughts. Marcus Aurelius. Social anxiety often involves negative thoughts about how others perceive you or fear of judgment. A powerful stoic strategy to combat these thoughts is cognitive reframing. This involves challenging and transforming negative thoughts into more positive and constructive ones. Start by identifying the negative thoughts that contribute to your social anxiety. Common thoughts might include, everyone will think I'm awkward, or I always say the wrong thing. Once you've identified these thoughts, examine their validity. Are they based on facts or are they assumptions? Challenge these negative thoughts by questioning their accuracy and replacing them with more balanced perspectives. For example, instead of thinking, everyone will think I'm awkward, reframe it to, some people might find me awkward, but others will appreciate my efforts and authenticity. This shift in mindset helps reduce the intensity of your anxiety. Practice this reframing technique regularly. Before and during social interactions, consciously replace negative thoughts with more constructive ones. Over time, this practice will help you develop a habit of thinking more positively, which can significantly reduce your social anxiety. By reframing your thoughts, you empower yourself to view social situations as opportunities for growth and connection rather than threats. This stoic practice helps you maintain a positive outlook and approach social interactions with greater confidence and ease. Embrace voluntary discomfort. 
It is not the man who has too little, but the man who craves more, that is poor. Seneca. Exposing yourself to minor discomforts intentionally can build resilience and reduce social anxiety. By embracing voluntary discomfort, you become more comfortable with challenges and less affected by anxiety-inducing situations. Begin by incorporating small, manageable challenges into your daily routine. These can include initiating conversations with strangers, speaking up in meetings, or attending social events alone. The key is to start with situations that are slightly outside your comfort zone, but not overwhelmingly so. Reflect on how these experiences make you feel. Notice how, over time, facing discomfort voluntarily makes you more confident and less anxious. By regularly challenging yourself, you build a tolerance for discomfort, which translates into greater resilience in social situations. In your daily life, look for opportunities to practice voluntary discomfort. For example, if you're afraid of public speaking, volunteer to give a short presentation at work. If you're nervous about meeting new people, attend networking events and introduce yourself to others. Each small step helps you build confidence and reduce social anxiety. Embracing voluntary discomfort is a powerful way to build mental and emotional resilience. By regularly pushing your boundaries, you prepare yourself to handle more significant social challenges with greater poise and confidence. Focus on the present moment. The whole future lies in uncertainty. Live immediately. Seneca. Focusing on the present moment is a key stoic principle that helps you stay grounded and reduce anxiety. By training your mind to stay in the here and now, you can avoid dwelling on past social mishaps or worrying about future interactions. Start by practicing mindfulness techniques such as meditation or deep breathing exercises. Set aside a few minutes each day to sit quietly and focus on your breath. When your mind wanders, gently bring your attention back to the present moment. This practice helps you develop the habit of staying present. Reflect on how mindfulness affects your mood and outlook. Notice how staying present reduces your stress and enhances your appreciation for the simple pleasures of life. By focusing on the present, you can fully engage with your current activities and relationships. In your daily life, practice being mindful during routine activities. Whether you're eating, walking or working, pay full attention to what you're doing. Notice the sensations, sounds and sights around you. This focus helps you stay grounded and reduces feelings of overwhelm. In social situations, use mindfulness to stay present. If you start to feel anxious, take a few deep breaths and bring your attention back to the present moment. Focus on the conversation and the people around you rather than getting lost in your thoughts. Focusing on the present moment is a powerful way to cultivate inner peace. By regularly practicing mindfulness, you can develop a stoic mindset where external events no longer disturb your tranquility. This approach helps you remain calm and composed regardless of what life throws your way. Embrace impermanence. The universe is change. Our life is what our thoughts make it. Marcus Aurelius. Understanding and accepting the impermanence of all things is a powerful stoic principle that can significantly reduce social anxiety. Recognizing that every social situation, no matter how uncomfortable, is temporary, can help you approach interactions with a calmer and more composed mindset. Start by reminding yourself that social situations are fleeting and constantly changing. Acknowledge that any discomfort you feel will soon pass. This perspective helps you to not overemphasize the importance of a single interaction. Reflect on past social situations that caused you anxiety. Notice how the anxiety diminished once the event was over and how many of those moments are now just distant memories. This reflection reinforces the idea that discomfort is temporary and often less significant in the grand scheme of things. Practice mindfulness to help stay grounded in the present moment. 
When you find yourself worrying about an upcoming social event, bring your attention back to the present. Focus on your current environment and activities, which can help reduce the anticipation and anxiety about future interactions. In social situations, remind yourself of the impermanence principle. If you start to feel anxious, take a deep breath and tell yourself that this moment is just a small part of your overall life experience. This mindset can help you relax and engage more authentically. Embracing impermanence reduces the pressure and significance you place on social interactions, allowing you to approach them with a sense of calm and perspective. By internalizing this stoic lesson, you can navigate social situations with greater ease and confidence. Practice self-compassion. Be tolerant with others and strict with yourself. Marcus Aurelius. Treating yourself with kindness and understanding is crucial for overcoming social anxiety. Often we are our harshest critics, which can exacerbate feelings of anxiety and inadequacy. Practicing self-compassion helps you recover from social mishaps and maintain a positive self-image. Start by recognizing that everyone makes mistakes and experiences awkward moments. Instead of criticizing yourself for perceived social failures, remind yourself that these experiences are part of being human. This understanding fosters a more compassionate and forgiving attitude towards yourself. Reflect on how you would treat a friend who made the same social mistakes you worry about. Would you be harsh and critical or understanding and supportive? Apply the same kindness to yourself. This shift in perspective helps you develop a more balanced and compassionate view of your social interactions. Practice self-compassion techniques such as positive self-talk and self-care. When you feel anxious about a social situation, reassure yourself with affirmations like it's okay to feel nervous or I'm proud of myself for trying. Engage in activities that nurture your well-being, such as exercise, hobbies, or spending time with loved ones. In social situations, remember to be gentle with yourself. If you stumble or feel awkward, remind yourself that it's normal and that everyone has similar experiences. Self-compassion helps you bounce back from social anxiety and approach future interactions with a more positive mindset. By practicing self-compassion, you can reduce the impact of social anxiety and build a healthier relationship with yourself. This stoic principle encourages you to treat yourself with the same understanding and kindness that you would offer to others, fostering resilience and self-acceptance. Use rational analysis. If it is not right, do not do it. If it is not true, do not say it. Marcus Aurelius. Applying rational analysis to your fears and anxieties can help you gain perspective and reduce social anxiety. Often, our fears are based on irrational thoughts and assumptions. By critically examining these thoughts, you can separate fact from fiction and alleviate unnecessary worry. Start by identifying the specific fears that contribute to your social anxiety. For example, you might fear being judged, saying something embarrassing or not being liked. Write down these fears to make them more tangible. Challenge these fears by asking yourself if they are based on facts or assumptions. For example, if you fear being judged, ask yourself, is there concrete evidence that people will judge me harshly? Or have I been judged harshly in similar situations before? This process helps you identify any cognitive distortions and replace them with more rational thoughts. Reflect on past social interactions where your fears did not materialize. Remembering these experiences can help you see that your fears are often unfounded and that you are more capable of handling social situations than you might think. Practice using rational analysis in real time during social interactions. If you start to feel anxious, take a moment to mentally review your fears and challenge them with logical reasoning. This approach helps you stay grounded and reduces the impact of irrational thoughts. By regularly applying rational analysis, you can develop a habit of thinking more logically and less emotionally. 
This stoic practice empowers you to approach social situations with a clearer mind and greater confidence, reducing the grip of social anxiety on your life. Engage in meaningful conversations. Nature gave us one tongue and two ears so we could hear twice as much as we speak. Epictetus, engaging in meaningful conversations, can help reduce social anxiety by shifting your focus from how you are perceived to the content of the interaction. When you concentrate on genuinely understanding and connecting with others, you naturally become less self-conscious and more relaxed. Start by practicing active listening in your conversations. Pay full attention to the person speaking and show genuine interest in their words. This can be achieved by nodding, maintaining eye contact, and asking relevant questions. Active listening helps you stay present and engaged, reducing anxiety. Reflect on how engaging conversations make you feel. Notice the difference between superficial small talk and deeper, more meaningful exchanges. Meaningful conversations tend to be more fulfilling and less anxiety-inducing because they create a sense of connection and mutual understanding. Practice starting conversations with open-ended questions. These questions encourage the other person to share more about themselves, which can lead to more engaging and less anxiety-provoking interactions. For example, instead of asking, did you have a good weekend? You might ask, what was the highlight of your weekend? In social situations, focus on the content of the conversation rather than how you are being perceived. Remind yourself that everyone enjoys being heard and understood. By prioritizing the quality of the interaction, you can reduce your self-consciousness and anxiety. Engaging in meaningful conversations is a powerful way to build confidence and reduce social anxiety. By concentrating on understanding and connecting with others, you can transform your social interactions into enjoyable and enriching experiences. Reflect on past successes. No man is free who is not master of himself. Epictetus. Reflecting on past successes in social situations can boost your confidence and reduce anxiety. Often we focus on our perceived failures and forget the times when we handled social interactions well. By remembering and celebrating these successes, you can build a more positive self-image. Start by creating a list of social interactions where you felt confident and successful. These could be moments when you made new friends, gave a successful presentation, or handled a challenging conversation with ease. Writing them down makes these positive experiences more tangible. Reflect on what made these interactions successful. Consider the factors that contributed to your confidence, such as your preparation, your mindset, or the support of others. Understanding these elements helps you replicate them in future social situations. Practice visualizing these successful interactions before entering new social situations. Imagine yourself feeling confident and composed, just as you did in the past. This mental rehearsal can help reduce anxiety and increase your confidence. In moments of social anxiety, remind yourself of your past successes. Use these positive memories as evidence that you are capable of handling social interactions well. This reflection can help you shift your focus from fear to confidence. Reflecting on past successes is a powerful way to build a positive self-image and reduce social anxiety. By celebrating your achievements and understanding what contributed to them, you can approach future social interactions with greater confidence and ease. Accept yourself fully. To accept the limits of our nature is a mark of wisdom. Seneca. Accepting yourself fully, including your strengths and imperfections, is crucial for overcoming social anxiety. Often, social anxiety stems from a fear of being judged or not meeting others' expectations. Embracing your authentic self reduces this fear and allows you to interact more genuinely and confidently. Start by acknowledging and celebrating your strengths. 
Reflect on your positive qualities and accomplishments and recognize the value you bring to social interactions. This practice helps you build a more positive self-image. Reflect on your imperfections and accept them as part of who you are. Understand that everyone has flaws and that these do not diminish your worth. By accepting your imperfections, you reduce the pressure to appear perfect in social situations. Practice self-acceptance by treating yourself with the same kindness and understanding that you would offer to a friend. When you make a social mistake, remind yourself that it's a normal part of being human. This compassionate attitude helps you recover more quickly from social anxiety. In social situations, focus on being authentic rather than trying to impress others. When you embrace your true self, you are more likely to connect with others on a genuine level. Authentic interactions are often more meaningful and less anxiety-inducing. Accepting yourself fully is a powerful way to overcome social anxiety. By embracing your strengths and imperfections, you can reduce the fear of judgment and interact with others more confidently and authentically. This stoic principle encourages you to be true to yourself, fostering inner peace and resilience in social situations. As you diligently practice these stoic strategies to overcome social anxiety, an unexpected twist emerges. The real journey isn't just about managing external social situations, but about discovering and embracing your true self. This internal revelation shifts your entire perception, highlighting that the ultimate challenge was always about self-acceptance and authenticity. This twist adds a profound layer of meaning, prompting deep reflection on the true essence of social anxiety. The emotional climax occurs during a pivotal social event, perhaps a significant public speaking engagement or a high-stakes social gathering. This moment is charged with intense emotions as it represents your ultimate challenge. Despite initial waves of anxiety, you draw upon the stoic practices you've mastered, staying present, reframing negative thoughts and embracing imperfections. As you begin to engage, you feel a surge of genuine confidence and authenticity. The audience's positive response and your profound sense of accomplishment create a deeply satisfying and thought-provoking resolution, leaving you and the reader emotionally invested in your journey. Through this journey, you uncover a transformative philosophical insight. True freedom from social anxiety comes from embracing your authentic self. By focusing on your own thoughts, actions, and inner values, you can navigate social interactions with unwavering confidence and ease. This revelation encourages both you and the reader to understand that the key to overcoming social anxiety lies in self-acceptance and authenticity, rather than seeking external validation. As the story draws to a close, some questions remain unanswered, inviting further reflection. How will these new insights shape your future interactions and decisions? What other aspects of your life will be transformed as you deepen your practice of stoic principles? This open-ended conclusion stimulates your imagination and encourages ongoing contemplation, making the ending feel deeply personal and engaging. In a powerful symbolic resolution, envision a bright, steady beacon within you, representing your newfound inner peace and authenticity. This beacon remains constant, regardless of external circumstances. It symbolizes the resolution of the story's main conflict, achieving self-acceptance and inner strength. The imagery of the inner beacon powerfully communicates the deeper themes of the journey and leaves a lasting impression on the reader. The story concludes in a way that mirrors the beginning, creating a sense of completeness and harmony. You started this journey seeking ways to manage social anxiety, only to realize that the true challenge was about embracing your authentic self. Now you return to this initial quest with a deeper understanding and inner mastery. This circular structure emphasizes the growth you've undergone and the profound journey of self-discovery, leaving you with a sense of fulfillment and readiness to embrace the future with newfound wisdom and strength. Reflect on your experiences with social anxiety and how these stoic strategies have helped you. 
Share your thoughts and stories in the comments below. Your insights could be the key to someone else's journey. If you found these lessons valuable, consider liking this post and subscribing for more content on Stoic philosophy and personal growth. By joining this community, you'll continue to receive guidance and support on your path to overcoming social anxiety and living a life of integrity, peace and fulfillment.